First tonight, after a long legal battle between the U.S. State Department and a Texas gun designer, the blueprints to print a 3D gun will be released on Wednesday. The State Department demanded Cody Wilson take down his blueprints five years ago, and now a settlement has been reached. Tonight, several states, including Massachusetts and Connecticut, are rushing to sue the Trump administration over the settlement. Meantime, Rhode Island and a congressman and a captain with the state police are speaking out about the controversial topic. I would assume Reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live in studio with a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Caroline? Well, Mike and Shannon, come Wednesday, the blueprints to make 3D guns will be freely available on Defense Distributed's website. You won't need a license to download them, but you will need an expensive printer to actually make the gun. They cost thousands of dollars, but that hasn't eased the concerns of people who say these 3D guns could fall into the wrong hands. A 3D printer, internet connection, and a free online guide. Starting Wednesday, that's what Americans will need to 3D print a gun. The idea comes from 30-year-old Cody Wilson, founder of pro-gun group Defense Distributed. In 2013, he designed a 3D plastic pistol and put the blueprint online. The State Department told him to take it down, which he did. But then he fired back with a lawsuit, citing free speech rights. We said, no, we're Americans. Americans have the right to access this data, unquestionably. A settlement was reached in June, and come August 1st, Wilson will once again post his blueprints for anyone to download. As of now, his website shows it will reveal the plans to print several guns, including the AR-15. In light of all the uh, recent shootings of law enforcement officers, it's a grave concern for us. Captain Derek Borick with Rhode Island State Police says these guns present a real danger. They wouldn't have serial numbers, which would make them untraceable, and they would be mostly made of plastic, making them harder to detect. And it would make it more difficult for if an individual did go through a magnetometer to actually detect that. Congressman David Cicilline is now introducing a bill to ban these guns. He says these weapons are virtually undetectable by modern security devices used in airports, schools, and other would-be targets for mass shooters. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Congress needs to step in and prevent the distribution of this technology. Captain Borick says state police just dealt with untraceable weapons during a motorcycle gang bust in May. He says these 3D guns could become yet another area of concern. Hopefully the legislation gets passed that we can defeat people actually doing these types of things. Under federal law, it is legal to manufacture a firearm for personal use, but it is illegal to sell one without a license. The State Department hasn't said why it decided to reverse course and allow Wilson and his nonprofit to release their blueprints. We did reach out to Rhode Island's Second Amendment Coalition tonight to get their take on the matter. We are still waiting to hear back. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.